In object-oriented programming, there is a concept known as classes, as constructors. So if you have a class, let's say a class car, which has some properties, uh, and maybe some functions and so on. So this is a basic class. You can define new objects with that class, and you can use the object methods and uh, properties. So this is the basic concept of class. Um, now there's something known as a constructor, and a constructor is the first method that's called when an object is created. So if we, this is how you define the constructor. Um, and you have to add the self word there. So if you run it, even though we don't call the init method explicitly, the method is called. So every time we create objects, and let's say we don't call any method, we just create objects. So create five objects, and each time the object is called, the method is, is actually called. So that method is always called, um, even if we don't explicitly call it. And why would you, why is this created? Well, you can initialize your object. So you can say, uh, initialize specific variables. So maybe um, the class variable speed you can change and And you can also call methods from here. So maybe you have a method um, start, start engine or something. So then you can call that method. So now this method will be called and the wheels will be set on the properties. So you'll see each time car is created, also the method start engine is called. So you want to use a constructor, which is the init uh, method, to initialize your object so you can set properties or call certain um, methods. So the constructor is just a method, like any other, uh, but the difference is that each time an object is created, it's called.